Well, hello there, everyone. Excuse me. Get the hell out of here. Where did these guys come from? Free meat for me. Welcome back to Breakwaters, ladies and gentlemen. God damn it. Seriously, where are these rats coming from? Screw off. Uh, this is a good time to... What the... Holy crap, there's more in the distance I can see. Good thing I built this sword in the last episode. These guys are freaking jerks. All right, come on. Just keep them coming. For that, is there like a rat cave over here or something? I guess I'm not going to need food for a while, so that's good. As I was saying, welcome back to Breakwaters, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to get out once again and work our way deeper into this very beautiful survival game. Now, in the last... Oh! Uh... Oh, <laughs> so before this was a simple bench. Now it's, uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be like this. I think they updated it to look like this, but the bench is still here for some reason. As I said, we're getting to this game very early, so weird things might happen as they update the game. But they did actually release construction in the last episode, so we need... Ooh, we need metal hinges for some of the stuff. This is actually cool. I'm gonna need redstone. I'm just looking at exactly what I need here. So obviously, we're gonna need to collect a lot of resources. But I would like to obviously build a house, because... Rats are starting to really bother me. Ooh, we got the cooking bench as well now unlocked, which doesn't have unobtainium, so we can make that as well. So that's exciting. Unfortunately, boat yard is still locked. I am patiently waiting for the day we can actually make our own boat. But the important part is there's actually things we can unlock today, and we should probably finally get into the building. So I think I'm just going to uh, explore our wonderful island here, collect a crap load of resources so we can actually hopefully build a little house. Seems like they sped this up a lot. That or it holds collected water. Oh, it does. That's actually brilliant. Okay, that's great. Because I was worried I'd constantly need uh, some glass here. But it can hold the water until you put a bottle in it. And then it just rapidly fills it if it has enough water. Oh, we got charcoal as well now. That's great. So, oh, we get plus six. Finally, because my biggest complaint was we use a little bit too much fuel when we make the fire. So, let's see... Oh, that's gonna last forever. That was only a few logs, too. Okay. It's so fun seeing a game slowly get updated. Uh, we can make the bamboo armor possibly today, too. There's a lot of stuff we need to get to, so I don't know how much we'll get done. Um, I think I want to build maybe fences first, or I guess wood walls will make more sense, because the fences are gonna take bamboo, and I'd actually rather a wall anyways. Now, I don't know if I need the pillars for the wall. We'll find out here. I'm gonna need to go get a crap load of seagrass, so that's actually gonna be difficult on this island. Well, more glitches are happening. I've somehow duplicated my crab sword. I don't think they degrade, so I'll probably just drop that other one. <laughs> but that's convenient, I guess. Oh, God damn it! Now it's high tide. The moment I come out here, there's a bunch of seagrass down here, too. Oh, just give me it. Just give me it all before the tides come in. Oh, they do drop items. I wasn't even going to talk about that. We must have got really unlucky in the last episode and just killed, like... I think we killed three or four of them. Didn't drop a damn thing. So, at least now I know. Let's not avoid those guys. I just killed him because he was around all this wonderful seagrass here. But I guess that worked out. Can be slotted in equipment to increase stats. Well, we don't have great equipment yet. So, we'll hold on to these crystals. I don't feel like I need better equipment anyways. But I love this whole crystal aspect of this game. Uh, so, we only know blue and yellow. I wonder if there's more of them. Anyways, as you can see... The uh, seagrass slang went really, really well. Okay, so we got a wood wall. Uh, does not block water. Ooh, can we build a base in the water? That would be really cool, actually. So I just wanted to see, do I need those pillars at all? Doesn't look like it. So what I think I'm going to do is just... I'm going to have a small base. I don't want anything too big. Because uh, once the game gets updated and we have more islands, I definitely won't be staying here. So I just want to enclose this. Maybe do a small room for me. But the building is quite simple, which is great. Oh, there's variants. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice that till now. So we can have windows if we want. I, I don't like that it doesn't follow the ground or it doesn't allow me to lower it. But I don't think any enemies are getting... Oh, it, oh, that's brilliant. If the ground's going deeper, it just adds an extra layer to the bottom so it doesn't look so weird. Okay, this isn't bad. It also goes on 45 degree angles. So you could probably get some pretty cool designs here too. I think I'm just going to do a basic square because I'm basic. But yeah, this is exciting. I also got to think about a doorway. Okay, so I know we can make hinges. I saw in the forge there's another option here. I need iron ore for that. We actually have iron ore. So, I mean, once we start chopping down the trees like crazy, this won't take too long at all. I just realized the trees are attacking me. I'm sorry. You're a little too close for comfort. I'm going to... Oh, 
You bastard. Are you serious? Okay, there we go. We have to be really careful. Goddamn movable trees always moving into my territory here. That's right. Get the hell out of here. Well, we leveled up to homesteading level seven. I haven't really talked much about the levels yet, but that's how I'm getting more hearts. So I've unlocked my third heart now. That's actually pretty huge. So I essentially get 50% more HP than what I originally had. Um, and that's how you get stronger and stronger. I don't actually know where you see your levels. Oh, right here. No, that's just my stats. I don't know where it shows actual, I guess. Oh, this is it here. I'm dumb. Adventuring, homesteading, and exploration. So you get exploration by finding new islands. Adventuring by completing missions and fighting enemies. And then homesteading by building things, which is better what I've been mostly doing. So, I mean, even if you're not, you know, fighting things, speak of the devil. You can still make your character stronger, which in my opinion is really cool. All right, give me one of those cool crystals, please. Okay, don't you jerk. I don't care. Did you not learn from your friends, guys? Like, why are you coming closer to me? It's so creepy. They don't go the other way. They all come towards me. Maybe there's some lore behind that. But instead of thinking too deep about it, I'd rather just kill them because I feel like they're going to attack me sooner or later. Ends are a thing, and I do not want to screw with these guys. Okay, and there is the final wall. I mean, it's nothing pretty, but hey, it should keep me protected once I build the doors, of course. Let's actually see what I need for those doors now. So I need metal hinges. Three metal hinges for one door. That's a really reinforced door. And most doors that I know of only have two metal hinges, but that's okay. To make said metal hinge, we need one iron ore. So I'm going to need six iron ore. I think I converted all my iron ore into steel. Yeah, so we have steel. I know I need to use that for something. But it looks like I'm going to have to go iron hunting uh, tomorrow. So that's our next job. And then I want to actually build a house too. So I guess for tonight, I'll just collect more wood because I know we'll need it. Okay, so today, yeah, we're going to go out and do some mining. Now, there's no pickaxes, but I think the stone hammer is probably what we need um, to mine with. So I thought we'd make that. We're still only at stone weapons, but honestly, they don't take long to collect items anyway. So I'd rather keep my iron for other things. But yeah, we'll slowly go down the tools sooner or later. Right now, I just, I really want to build uh, a small little base for us. All right, let's just test this. So it does a five compared to the axe, which does a two. So yeah, the hammer is basically for mining. Got it. Ow, you little jerk. You know what? This guy's green. I wonder if he drops a green crystal of some sort. Ooh, he's actually harder than the blues. I'm also not really blocking very well, as you can see. I'm just going to take the damage. I can make bandages pretty easily. Oh, he doesn't drop anything, though. I really want to see if there's a new gem that does something. You know what? I wonder, just out of curiosity, it is a rock. I wonder if I can mine it. Yeah, I don't think I can mine it, though. I've been hitting it for a while. That's unfortunate. That would have been so cool. I hope that's an update sooner or later. Okay, so we actually got a bunch of iron ore. Really bothers me that they look like bars. That's not iron ore. That's a iron bar. But yeah, I think I only need the iron ore for the stuff I wanted to do. So let's do the doors first. All right, so two doors coming right up. The building in this game is actually remarkably easy, which is good. Oh, my door's a bit low. Hopefully I can get out of there. I didn't think about the... Well, I didn't know how the ground worked at the start, but I should have started at the high spot when I started building this. That's okay, though, uh, as, 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 as long as it works. Um, I'm trying to use it. It's not working. It's probably because I'm still in build phase. Let's just put that over there. Okay, please. Yeah! There's no animation for it yet. It's just open or closed, but that's okay. As long as I can fit through. So, I mean, this could be a whole house in and of itself. But then I'd have to dismantle all this because I want to put a floor down and it would just be a pain in the butt. So I think I'll just add a small little house for when I can put beds down. Nothing too big, just some place to call my home. And then this will be our farming slash crafting area outside. So to make flooring, I need nails and lots of them. I'm assuming I get quite a few, yeah, per ore. So we'll do 40 for right now. I don't want to go too crazy because I like to use some of that iron for weapons as well, obviously. All right, I saw something that's making me nervous. Going into here. Why is it, wait, what, what, why is it still locked? Locked, build other items to unlock this. So I did some digging into the community and it should be unlocked when you build the builder's bench. Problem is I came into this game very early and I think it wasn't implemented when I built this bench. So we're gonna try and rebuild the builder's bench so we can make floors. Cause you know, that would be nice to have flooring. And there we go. We have a beautiful bench. Please tell me I've unlocked it now. Yep, that was it. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad after all. So we're gonna, wow, wood floors are ridiculous. Why are they so expensive compared to walls? Like look at 10 and freaking 12 nails. God damn, what do you take me for a millionaire? All right, so we're gonna do the world's smallest house then because screw that. 
Um, oh god, I did the flooring the wrong way. You're all gonna hate me. And a floor for you. And a floor for you. And... This way. Uh-oh. Oh, oh there, I had it. Okay, so a little hard to place the floors, but that's okay. This is using all my metal just for flooring. I mean, I guess I got to nail down the boards, but don't I have to nail down the walls too? You know what? I'm not gonna complain. I, I would rather not need nails for the walls. And we are done with the floors. Okay, well, of course, once we place them here. Let's not screw this up. I would hate to have to break one of these. Oh, oh, ha, 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 ha. Whoa, almost died. Okay, oh, it's hot, it's hot. Okay, so we have to jump shot it. Nope, never mind, we can just do that. Okay, isn't my flooring beautiful? I hope you all have OCD because this is just every direction. God damn it, I hate it when that happens. Stop! All right, now we got the walls done. I'm curious to see how the roof's gonna work because I gotta make each piece. I wonder if it's just gonna be flat. This is, you know what? I dig this. I really wish my window was right here. I could fix that, but I'm far too lazy now. Oh, and perfect timing. We got the level eight. Hydration has been upgraded. No wonder why I'm having less of a hard time dealing with my food. I didn't realize that that upgrades as we level up our homesteading as well. All right, but look at my happy little house. I'm so sad I don't get to make a bed yet. But at least, you know, we are prepared when the bed comes. Obviously, we still need a roof. Let's go figure out that next. God damn it, I need tree branches now. I just... The, the reason why this fire's on is because I'm getting rid of all my tree branches. <laughs> well, this is why you plan ahead, ladies and gentlemen. They're just burning away now. So now I gotta go slaughter more trees. I'm, I'm losing my forest pretty quickly here. Okay, I can make a few. I don't know how many I'm going to need. Again, I don't know how this works. So maybe I should have figured that out first. Okay, so... Do we have... Oh, we have variants again. No, we have one variant. Wait, how am I supposed to do the top then? I guess I could use flooring as the top. But obviously, I'd like to... Uh, well, I guess I could just keep continuing up with the roof too and have a giant roof. That being said, that won't work because it's 3x3. Three three. It would need to be 4x4 four four for that. Unless I went all the way up to the left here and had a wall down this way. No, that would look dumb. I think we'll just use flooring as a roof until they hopefully add flat roofs because I don't want my house any bigger i mean it could be bigger but then this is stupidly big oh you know what that wouldn't even work anyways because it's a red zone i wonder if that's what the poles are for that's exactly what the poles are for well god damn it now i have to do it because i figured it out so that means i need more metal i need more i need so much secret <laughs> oh god i don't need a big house i just want a little house why do i have to make this hard for myself and i gotta close that off too with so much wood my poor forest. It was so beautiful before. Oh my god. Stop that! Alright, so the expansion's done. We got doors and everything. Isn't it beautiful? So now I gotta add pillars on this side, do the same thing for the roof, and add a crap little walls on the side. And we are done. Ah, uh, look at it in the distance. It's actually quite beautiful. So a whole night of slaying uh, seagrass once again. This whole episode's been me slaying seagrass. The great thing is, with the power of editing, you guys haven't seen crap of that. But man, I really hope we can have like a seagrass farm. So that's the commodity we need for freaking everything. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Why do I have so much just randomly around here too? Oh yeah, that's right, because they keep exploding every time I pull them out. Anyways, update, as you can see, we're nearing the end here. The the great quest for my little house is almost done. And hopefully the seagrass will help us out with that. Guys, you gotta never let me burn tree branches again, because that was the stupidest idea I ever did. I had to kill more of my trees just to get tree branches. But god damn it, I think that's all I need. Oh man, this is actually... <laughs> the angle to place this is not the easiest. I really don't want to screw this up, because you only get half your resources if you have to break something. Is that it? Well, we're doing it. Okay, that's it. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh my God. Look at it. It's beautiful in here. We're gonna be able to put nothing in here. I'll probably move my my workstations in there sooner or later. But right now, I, I just wanted a place to call home, damn it. And we just gotta finish up the wood walls now, which should be easy considering I have a whole lumber yard out here. So yeah, we'll just whack these for a little bit. And then we're finally done. We did it. We did. We built a lot today, actually. All right, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We freaking did it. I built a giant house today. I gotta say, uh, I do really like the building in this game. Very easy to use, as you can see. Maybe I should have added windows there so I could add a second floor. I mean, let's not go too crazy, though. I, I really don't need a second floor. Oh, God, how do I get this up there? Okay, jump shot. There we go. We got one. Just gotta get the other one. Come on, you just gotta let me finish. This is as high as I can look up, by the way. <laughs> I think I'm reaching my building limits. Is that it? 
I think that's it. Okay, well, that was not the easiest when you're building high, but man, I will say this place looks fantastic. Now, it feels like a little farm home, and that was kind of the goal. So I know farming is in this game. That's kind of why I added this here. Hopefully, we can add a bunch of fields so we can be self-sufficient as we wait for the ship update to, you know, build a dock here as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're going to wrap it up here. I know I didn't get to the new uh, building benches and whatnot. We'll have to check that in the next one. I really don't want to rush out the content anyways because we're getting into this game so early. I've been talking to the developers a lot. It seems like they're almost doing weekly updates, so we should be getting more content soon and uh yeah i'll be updating you with my builds and uh, my adventures as we go about so yeah as always guys thanks for watching and liking and i'll see you in the next one